Hey, boys. I feel like the show Toddlers and Tiaras, I used to watch that show all the time. I don't know why. I asked you guys to send me words on Twitter and let me just say, y'all are speedy motherfuckers. I tweeted this like two minutes ago and I already have so many of you guys responding to me. So thank you because this video would not be possible without you. So basically what I do is I have you guys send me words, like a word, and I try to think of a story that goes along with it. And by think, I mean I try to remember a story that has happened to me from the word. So we're just gonna go down the list. And I like doing these because it reminds me of very small stories, like stories that no other person would remember in their life, but it reminds me of those and I love them. All right, hey, let's see. Vacation. There was one vacation that I went on. It was me and my friend Hannah. We went to California with my mom and my stepdad and his family. And we were out one night. Me and my friend and him went out on a walk at like 1 a.m. on the beach and we were underage. So we had curfews, like legal curfews. A security guard or a cop or whatever talked to my brother and was like, you guys need to get home. So we went back to our hotel and we were just fucking around in like the lobby. And the man who was in the lobby, like the guy who was working, this poor old man, he was this old, like he's probably like 50 or 60 with the, shittiest toupee ever and he was just he was talking to us when we were whatever bonding with mr toupee man and all of us just decide that we're over it so we go upstairs and we're just fucking around for like the longest time like my brother stole a plant put it in front of some guy's door and like banged on the door and the guy came out and was like why the fuck is there a plant in front of my door like we just obnoxious we ran up and down the stairs we ran through the hallway so this man got mad at us and was like hey you kids <sighs> good times and there was one joke i don't remember why Oh, it's because he was like rubbing his back on the wall, like the corner of the wall and like moaning and like just rubbing his back. And it was so, oh my God. Potato, well, I am a potato. A potato flew around my, I can't open my fucking Diet Coke. I've been struggling since I started recording. Coach, call me coach. It's my kink. Tree, I think. I have a shitty memory, so I don't remember if I already told the story or if I told it to somebody else or if my friend told it to me. But my neighbors have a tree in their front yard and the tree used to have a rope hanging from it with like a hook on the end. And me and my friend used to go over and I would take the thing, I would put it through my belt loop and I would hang from the tree by my belt loops and I would break all the belt loops off of my pants. <coughs> Commitment, uh, scared of it. Dad, I don't know if they're calling me dad or if they're like, referring to my dad. But my dad is the greatest human being alive, so I'll just leave it at that. Doctor, I fucking hate doctors. When I was younger, every time I'd have to get a shot, my dad would reward me afterwards with a Sims game because I would just throw a temper tantrum. Like, ugh, I hate shots. I have tattoos, but I, to this day, I fucking hate shots. I can't do them. And recently, I think, well, not recently because I don't go to the doctor because I'm a pussy. But when I was still in high school, I think I was I think I was a senior, honestly, in high school. And my sister was getting a shot as well. So my sister went first. My sister was just like bawling her eyes out getting the shot. My sister's only a couple years younger than me. So then it freaked me the fuck out because I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to die. Like this shot is literally going to kill me. So I start crying. A senior in high school, I start crying. <laughs> like snotting into my mom's arms. My mom has to like hold me and the nurse. I'm like, I literally told the nurse at one point, I was like, you can leave because I, I'm not, um, you're not giving me a shot. So you can, you can honestly just go. I got the shot. Popcorn. I don't know why. This is the most random story. Me and my friend Maisie one time went to the movies when we were in probably fifth grade. I think we were in elementary school. And we had this ongoing joke. I do this with all of my friends. I don't know why. We say something funny. We laugh. Like we, we laugh really hard. It's like it's a really funny joke. But then we just carry the joke so far for 30 minutes that it, it doesn't even make sense anymore. I, all the time, I do it all the time. So me and my friend Maisie were laughing because we were like, what if our crushes showed up at the movie theater and were like shoving our mouth full of popcorn? So we would like take an entire scoop of popcorn and shove it in our mouths and then like pretend like we saw our crush and be like, oh, oh, oh. you know, you know what I mean? And it just turned into this whole thing where at one point we're like dumping the bag of popcorn in our face and like shoving popcorn in crevices of our body. I don't know, I don't know, it will, I don't know. I do that with Kayla so fucking much. And I do it with my best friend, Judy, too. Like me and Judy, we were talking one time because we used to work together. And my boss told us to watch the front of the store. So we were up front and we were watching like half of the front of the store. And we were making all these jokes like, we're literally standing here talking to each other. We can only see this part of the store. What if we turn around and like, this whole thing is gone? Or what if we turn around and this is gone? Or what if we turn around and the ceiling's gone? For like fucking 30 minutes. It was, it's fun though. It's so much fun. Those are my favorite kinds of friendships. Alphabet. I can say the alphabet backwards. Um, I think Z Y X W V U. I was about to say D. I gave up already. Cat. My friend Anna had this cat that she has had for 
her entire life. She moved to Colorado with her husband and she gave her a cat to her grandma to watch who lives here in Arizona. And one day I get a call from Anna and she's like hysterically crying and she was like, my grandma gave my cat to the Humane Society. Like, I don't know what to do. I, I need my cat. So me being the heroic person that I am, I drove to the Humane Society and I got the cat and I kept the cat here. And then my sister kept the cat for a couple months and then my friend took the cat home. Dog, I have a lot of dogs. I had this dog once, JJ. I'm pretty sure he was possessed by Satan. Literally, if he had food like in his mouth, like let's say he like accidentally got a piece of your food and you didn't want him to have it, you tried to take it from him, he'd bite off a fucking chunk of your finger. He literally bit off a chunk of my cousin's finger. But he, my dog, JJ, he got out one day and he went over to my neighbor's house and the neighbor's kids were outside. And one of them went to pet him and he fucking attacked the kid. So our neighbors threatened to sue us so we had to get rid of JJ. Bread. One time, I was at my friend McKenna's house and we were all drinking. It was my sister's birthday and so I promised my sister that I would take her and her friends TPing for her birthday. Just trying to be a good sister. So I had been drinking and I was like, well I can't drive but I still have to go, like I still have to take my sister TPing. So my friend offered to drive my car because he doesn't drink. I was like, well I still have to sober up, like I don't want my sister to know I was drinking. So I shoved like a whole bag of tortillas in my mouth and that did nothing, by the way. Lemonade, crunchy ice. Is it this? I used to have lemonade stands all the fucking time. Actually, this reminded me because normal kids have lemonade stands, which I did for like a short period of time in my life. Me and my neighbor, Austin, we would collect rocks. So we lived in this gated community where in the front of it, there was just like a, a lake of rocks because apparently that's fancy. So we would go and we'd pick up rocks and we would smash them on the street so that they would break apart and we would find like little shiny pieces of rock and we would call them quartz, which they were most definitely not quartz, but we would call them quartz. So for months, we would collect quartz in like a box. We would keep them in the boxes and we would like show them to people and we would like write in little notebooks about the quartz, like how many quartz we found this day and how much these quartz are worth and like facts about quartz and collected fucking rocks when I was like, I would break rocks to collect smaller versions of the big rocks when I was a kid. VidCon, I'm so fucking excited for VidCon. I don't think you guys understand. And I'm really nervous. because This is actually my first VidCon as like a creator. Last year, I didn't make videos yet. I think August will be my one year on YouTube and I'm really excited. Oh, we're about to hit 50 fucking K. Who the fuck, who did that? Someone said studio, and I don't know why this reminded me, but it did. My mom used to want me and my sister to be in commercials. There was one commercial that my mom wanted us to be in, and so me and my sister, all we had to do, all we had to fucking do was play with blocks. And I was a baby, and I was cute and playing with my blocks and shit. My fucking older, stubborn sister was like, I'm not playing with the blocks, so we didn't get the part. I could have been famous. Fuck you, Stephanie. Curtains, this reminds me of something that happened a couple days ago. I was at Brittany's house and she had a couple people over. And this one guy went into the bathroom and he ended up tearing the shower curtains off of the shower. And so to try to hide what he had done, he tried to shove the rod and the curtains underneath the sink, which is just not possible. Nice try though. Fell. I've fallen a lot in my days. I'm very, I'm pretty clumsy. I remember there was one time in middle school I was running to PE because like the minute bell rang. I don't know if you guys have this. We had five minutes to get to class, but at four minutes, this minute bell would ring. So like, you know, you only had a minute left to get to class. So the minute bell rang and I was still across campus. So I'm sprinting for my life and I fell into a hole. I made it though. There's also this one time I was with my friends and we were leaving McDonald's and it was raining. And one of my friends slipped and she fell into a puddle. And I don't know why, I don't laugh at these things. I feel really, really, really bad for people when things like this happen to them. So everybody's laughing and she's laughing. And I was just like, are you okay? Do you want pants? Do you want to go, do you want, to, do you want my pants? Do you want to take my pants off? Do you want to wear my pants? Like, I just feel so bad. I don't know why. I, whenever people get hurt or fall or like are embarrassed, I just feel for them so much because my entire life has been an embarrassment. Do a glint. What? What are they selling? Chocolate! Everybody is saying their names. What's up guys, what's up? Tacos, when I was in elementary school, I used to make people call me taco because that was my favorite food, so I wanted it to be my name. I even made my mom call me taco for a little bit of time. <sighs> I was a weird kid. Prom, I actually didn't go to my prom. I went to all of my homecomings except for my senior year. I couldn't go to my junior homecoming because I don't know if you guys knew this, but I left school halfway through my junior year and I did online school. And then for my senior year, I got asked, but I just didn't want to go. I'm not, a, I'm not a prom girl. Nothing about prom sounded like fun to me, so I didn't go, I stayed home. Middle school, that was a horrible time for me. I was just an ugly, prepubescent boy, kind of. Cut pong, 
I am the world champion cup honger. I am so good at that game. I don't think you understand. I don't even want to go into it. I don't want to go into that. I get, I get too competitive with it. Banana peel. I'm pretty sure I've tried on multiple occasions to try to slip on a banana peel and it has never worked, so. Creepy Uber. I don't know if there's ever been a creepy Uber driver. I've had a lot of interesting Uber drivers. Brittany's made a video about most of the experiences we've had. There was one Uber driver who pulled out his weed license to show us. There was one guy who told us a story about how he had picked up a girl who had been kidnapped. And then I had one Uber ride. Me and my friend went out to do this bar crawl. It's like basically where you just hop from bar to bar. It's like a whole thing and you dress up, like there are different themes. And on our way home, a little bit intoxicated. So I called an Uber and apparently there was a surge, like a huge surge, like a five times surge. The surge basically means a ride that would typically cost you $5 would now cost you 25 because it's five times the normal amount. Does that make sense? So if a bunch of people are trying to call Ubers at the same time, the surge goes up because you have to pay more to get the Uber. It's like first come, first serve, or whoever's willing to pay more money for serve, basically. Apparently, I accepted this surge, which I never remember getting. And me and my friend take this 45 minute Uber ride home. The ride that was supposed to cost me $30, or I think it was $40, now costed me over $200. I woke up the next day, I'm already hungover, and I check my phone, I check my email, and I have a receipt from Uber, and I was like, Holy shit. Basically, I emailed Uber and I was like, hey, I think I was overcharged for this ride. And they were like, no, 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 there was a surge that you accepted. And I was like, I, I don't remember accepting any surge. So they gave me my money back. I'm not banned from Uber, thank God. But holy shit, $200 for 30 minutes or 40 minutes? Like, what the fuck? Bob's Burgers. I'm pissed because most of the seasons are off of Netflix and Hulu only has season seven. So I can't really watch Bob's Burgers right now. And my heart is a little bit broken. I actually want to sign, like I want to create a petition to get Bob's Burgers back because why would you take it off? Fuck you. I love you Netflix and Hulu. I have to pay for both just to watch all the shows I wanna watch because one of them can't have all of them. Okay, and I think that's good for now. Sorry that I like to ramble about unimportant stories in my life, but sometimes I like to reminisce on uh, my really sad, pathetic life. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I have the world's biggest wedgie. Oh, it's so fucking hot.